guys, it's William here. We're back for another video. So today we're gonna go over my T6.1. I'm gonna call it a C for carpet. So this, I got this, in the, I got this, you picked this up used, I rebuilt it. I'm gonna go over how it looks, how it's coming. Um, originally, I was supposed to have my dirt car, be my carpet car and trans, um, switch them back and forth. But then I got this deal I came across and it was kind of hard not to say, yeah, let's go for it. There's some stuff I had to do and replace on it, but hey, it's part of the used game. So the stuff I had to do, I didn't work on it and make it the way I wanted to do it, but we got it running. So now I will go over what's on it for setup, how it looks, and kind of how it's going to be when we start get going. So my first race for this car should be roughly May 1st. Um, date of recording, this is April 8th, so roughly 20 some days away. Um, hoping I can get over across the black lighter on it. If not, it will be November of 2021, proof of the next time I can run this on carpet. So um, I am going to test it hopefully this weekend at my local race track. Um, there's no, we don't race this class, but I want to hopefully get these tested to make sure everything works, fine tune it, make sure there's nothing like major I got to do. So, all right, for now, we're going to flip you around, and we're going to show you what you got. All right, here we go, guys. So, here she is. Here she is. Sorry for the messy workbench up there, guys. Um, But, yeah. So, to start her off, um, first thing you're going to notice are the shock towers. These are water jet. So, the guy I bought them off of, water jet shock towers. So, I am going to keep them on and try them. I have carbon ones in order, uh, just to make sure. But the main thing I like these, I really like these. There's a lot more tunability and adjustability on them. All right. So let's we'll show the front. A lot more adjustability. So the stuff left that I want to do to this is Kashima and Chrome front and rear and aluminum shock house front and rear. All right. So we'll start with electronics. Um, we have the transponder, my laps, of course, 1251 MG servo. As you can see, Right there, it's the 204E receiver. It's a hobby lane quick run ESC. Right now, it is, just for testing purposes, it is a Sky RC 13.5. I am waiting for my Team Zombie 13.5 to come in, which we're going into that, which is my sponsor. This is just what I have for testing. I have a couple older motors to test here. Um, pinion ratio, we got everything coming up there. We got white springs on the front. And then gray in the back. So I flip that gray in the front, white in the back. And we got the pull through lay down. So that's kind of everything we got right now. Um, some more stuff with the car. I put hard arms in the back, hard side rails on the side, hard arms in the front. We're running the steel, um, yeah, the steel weight, servo weight, and it, Server sorry, and ESC weight. We're running the brass bulkhead. We're also running the aluminum belt cranks and steering rack. So yeah, that's what's gonna look like. She's pretty solid. Like I said, she's I got her used. So she's I have one major scratch there, but it's not that deep, it's not that bad. So for what I paid for it, it was not a bad deal. Um Stock, we're not running aluminum or brass B or uh, C or D because it's on carpet. For tires, we're running J concept pin downs and J concept swaggers. Again, I swear by swaggers, guys. They're one of the, I switched over to swaggers this year, helped me out a lot. So, yeah, that's what this one's going to look like. Um, she does pretty good, pretty impressed with her. I'm not running a fan because I don't know where my fan is on this. Um, battery will be a uh, 56,000 milliamp team zombie 120 C. But yeah, so if you guys have any questions about it, let me know. And yeah, there we go. All right. So guys, this is my dirt stadium truck. So this is my T6.1 D. So I have two of them, as I said before. So we'll go over the, what's on this aftermarket and hop up. So to start it off, we got aluminum rear hubs. Um, we also got Kashima shock bodies. I need chrome shafts front and rear. So we have Kashima front and rear. We got a three gear stand up, which is considered an aftermarket part. 
We also got the aluminum bell cranks and steering racks. And I think that is about everything, guys. Oh, the shock standoffs. These are J Concept titanium shock standoffs and turnbuckles. We have three different turnbuckles in the car. I also bought this used, but all the turnbuckles were, the, were different. Not two of them were the same. Well, I'm sure that there were these two were the same. And then the these two was, I think these two are the same. No, these two are the same. Or I had to find parts or something like that. So I had to modify them. Uh, one of them, anyways, one of them was not the right length. So we had to fix that up and get it running. All right, so now this is my other car. So what's in this? I'll go over the hop up parts in this too. So we got the brass C block as you can see there. Looking pretty good, looking pretty fly. If I still say my, so myself, looking good that way. Um, ESC is the RX, or sorry, the XR10 Pro G2 ESC from Hobbywin. We are running a 10.5, is what it is? Yeah, a 10.5 Team Zombie motor. I'm actually gonna flip these wires so they're on the other way going in um, before I start racing it. My servo is a 1256 TG Black Edition. My receiver is the 304 SB. I think this is the 10 hour version. And for tires, we are running carvers in the front and whatever I feel like on the back. So. Sprinters, flip outs, double D's, goosebumps will be my primary tires for the back of this thing. Um, so this has my carbon tires front and rear. It looks pretty good. Um, we're using a wrench here versus the little thumb nuts. I'm gonna have thumb nuts for this. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. That's all this car is, guys. There's not a lot about different from this one to the last. Um, get some weight in the back. Kind of see what we did. So. I don't know. It's pretty nice. Definitely nicer. It was a nicer condition. I got a little more wear back there, but less chassis scratches and chassis damage. So definitely a better deal. I got this one used too. Um, one's from Ontario, one's from Quebec. This is my Quebec one. So it's in pretty good shape. Shocks are freshly rebuilt. All the fluids in them. Spring, nice and brand new springs. New capacitor. So we're all set. We got the external switch because I think this ESC's internal switch. Is, nope, the internal switch still works. So, but it's always safe to have the external switch when you can have one. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing. It's a three gear stand up. We're gonna test the layback on this this summer. But oh, three gear stand up is a starting setup. But yeah, there we guys go. We're all set.